hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl delphine konda and once again i'm back with another achievement scholarship application video if you have been following the channel keenly you would notice that i started a series a few days ago in which i read my achievement aces so that i can guide applicants who are interested in applying for this scholarship if you missed the very first video on this series please i'm going to leave it somewhere on the screen of this video or down in the description section please do go and watch it so that it will help you to be able to follow up with this one so the first video in this series of reading my successful evening essays was um on the leadership essay today i will be reading the networking essay curiously someone left me a comment on my channel asking me if i'm going to be sharing and reading my networking essay which definitely i will be doing today before we proceed guys please don't forget you need to help me grow this channel support the channel we need more people to subscribe like comment and share so that the videos can be pushed to as many chivening interested applicants as possible. If you are interested in watching and knowing what I wrote in my networking essay and how I wrote it, please don't go away. So guys, as usual, before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge the amazing ladies who helped to proofread my essay when I was writing them. That will be Dr. Monique Kwacho, Dr. Lily Harituchi, Ms. Rose Washuka, and Ms. Aya Shebi. Those are the amazing minds that helped me to review and proofread the essays that I am sharing with you today. Without this amazing lady, I would not have been able to come up with the final work that I did and that landed me a successful place on the Chevening Scholarship. So guys, now let's move on. When I was writing my Chevening um, networking essay, I was more interested in one, showing my skills in communication, which is something that I was applying to study at the London School of Economics and Political Science. So I wanted Chevening to see that first, I'm a good communicator. Secondly, I understand what networking is and I have been able to use networking to advance my career and create impact in my community. I wanted them to know that I can take advantage of opportunities that are given to me to be able to advance the work that I do and create impact. I gave two examples. So I'm going to start with the introduction of how I wrote my networking AC. As a good communicator, I find it easy to forge networks and communal alliances. Having worked in different continents and traveled to over 15 countries around the world, I have realized that networking is not only an essential element in personal development. It is a vital resource for human development in our interconnected world. Over the years, I have exploited formal, non-formal and online platforms to develop essential networking skills and use them to organize national and regional activities as elaborated below. Then guys, you can see from my introduction, there were key things. I was applying to study media communication and development. So I made them to know one, I'm a good communicator. Number two, I have been able to use formal, non-formal and online platforms to build relationships that have led to creating impact in the community. Then I went ahead and gave two solid examples, very strong examples. In the first example, I said that I met Ms. Rose Washuka, who at the time I was writing this essay was a was a Kenyan chivening um, scholar at the University of Oxford. I met her and Miss Aya Shebi, who at the time was a Mo Ibrahim scholar. I'd met them in Cape Verde when we went um, to participate in a training course that was organized by the Council of Europe. When I met them, I clicked with them. We got talking and we realized that we were all young women from different um, countries, but African women who are passionate about women's rights and promoting our identity and our 
voices as African women. And so we decided to create a platform, an organization that is known as Voice of Women Initiative. Voice of Women Initiative was a platform that will breach that editorial gate way that you will find in 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 mainstream media and creates um, a safe space for women from the grassroots to be able to share their voices to share their perspectives and talk about issues that concerns them so again even in talking about um networking I showed an example in which I used the media, I used communication as a tool, media as a tool to advance um, the rights of women. So I had other examples that I could have chosen, but I chose to use this one deliberately because it was more important in my opinion to show them um, to talk about networking, but at the same time, talk about my skills as a good communicator and why I deserve a space um, as a chivening scholar. So I went ahead to tell them, now I'm paraphrasing though. <laughs> um, so I went ahead to tell them that um, together we identified the need to link young dynamic women committed to, to change in their community. We settled on a web-based organization, Voice of Women Initiative, and 35 global correspondents after an open and competitive recruitment process. Voice of Women correspondents ventured into vulnerable communities and collated stories of change and pioneering, which are then featured online. Voice of Women Initiative breaks the rules of editorial gatekeeping by making every story count and by connecting the agents of change from various communities online in an exciting fellowship year that exposes them to mentorship and numerous training opportunities. As a result of our work, VOW, Voice of Women Initiative, was nominated for the Hero Goody Award in 2012 and became an official partner of the Deutsche Welle Global Media Forum in 2014. So you see that I first of all showed my skill as a good communicator. Then I went ahead to tell them that I have used my skills as a good communicator and the media as a tool to build relationship that has created impact for women and girls in my community. I proceeded to the example by giving concrete examples and mentioning names of people that can be verified. That I have partnered with these women to create a platform. This platform did not only create a safe space for women to share their voice. I gave numbers. There were, we had 35 correspondents. I talked about the impact that it created. These women had to venture into communities to bring the kind of inspiring stories that you would normally not find in mainstream media. We were given opportunities for women that would normally not be able to be interviewed on big screens. We created that safe space for them to share their own stories because every story counts. Then I went further to tell the person reading my essay that the organization as a result of the work that we put in and the impact that it created, we were nominated for an award in 2012. And in 2014, we were at the Deutsche Welle Global Media Forum where we even organized a workshop and we were talking about the kind of inspirational work that we were all doing in different communities across Africa with young women who were passionate to share stories like never before. In my second and last example, I talked about meeting um, another young um, youth representative from the Netherlands. I had met this person at the third Africa Europe Youth Summit in Brussels in 2014. And this person had an amazing idea to work on a project called Building Bridges, where we were going to be connecting young people from Africa and Europe to talk about the sustainable development goals, to talk about issues affecting young people in Africa and in Europe. And this person had to cycle, they had to move from Holland down to South Africa. 
And when he presented the idea, I loved the idea. I jumped on board. We even got the organization that we started together with Rose Washuka and Aya Shebin to work on this project, Building Bridges. So after months of online meetings, talking, having meetings, email exchanges on the project, we had the opportunity to implement in 2015. We worked with about 50 organizations across Africa. And in Cameroon, we were able to organize a workshop where we brought over 115 young people together to talk about the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. So guys, this is how I approached my networking essay. It was straight to the point, clear example. I gave numbers, I gave names that could be verified, and I showed the impact that we have done without using any big language, any big English, anything that is difficult to understand. So this was my approach to my Chivini networking essay. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please let me know by subscribing to my channel, liking the video, leaving me a comment and just telling me what you like or even what you didn't like about the video. So that was it. I will be doing another video soon to talk about my study in the UK ASIM. Until we meet again, guys, please do not forget to create some impact. Oh, you and me, oh, oh, you